both David and Peter for their heartfelt speeches. My name is Ellie and for those of you who haven't worked it out yet, I am Sophie's best friend and also a good friend of Josh's. As you can see, Sophie seems a little bit surprised. <laughs> when she initially suggested that I write a speech, I told her where to stick it. <laughs> Public speaking is not my forte, so hence the note cards. So I apologise in advance if I turn into a blubbering mess. Okay, now let's talk about the lovely engaged couple, Josh and Sophie. I know Simon has already touched on this, but I'll elaborate a little bit further. I remember the night that they met, or well, the night that Sophie remembers meeting Josh for the first time. We were all on the houseboat having a dignified cheese and wine party, none of this dancing on the tables and being around the I can't remember much of the night, as let's be honest, there was no cheese and it was Sophie and I running around with glow sticks. But what I do remember is going for a hunt for Sophie in the morning and peeping through the curtains in an uncreepy way and seeing Josh and Sophie asleep holding hands, to which I went, no, and snuck back off. That was the beginning. From there they went on some dates and on the 19th of September 2012 they became boyfriend and girlfriend. However, it does feel a lot longer than that, seeing as Sophie insists on celebrating every month. <laughs> She's even created her own word for it called month anniversaries. They are currently at 30. <laughs> Josh and Sophie being official that our friend Cam came over and said to me, I don't think that anything will tear Josh and Sophie apart, they will be together forever. Now that's a pretty big call for someone to make, especially a guy, but surely enough over time I realised that he was right on the money. People often ask me when I thought Josh was going to propose to Sophie, and to be honest I really thought he would drag it out a bit further. <laughs> because he knew how much she wanted it and watching her squirm can be quite entertaining. <laughs> I will never forget the I'll never forget Sophie walking out of the back of Rick and Alicia's on New Year's Eve. There was a group of us girls drinking wine and Sophie comes strolling out. Now Sophie and I had Sophie and I had, had our suspicions on Josh's secret dinner arrangement and had been talking all week about how maybe tonight was the night, but when she strolled out I looked at her hand and didn't see anything. Turns out I'm a bit uncoordinated uncoordinated I knew that was gonna happen. Uncoordinated and was looking at the wrong hand. <laughs> popped up with the most beautiful ring I have ever seen. And I've never heard a group of girls, girls school the way that they did. I can't express the happiness that I had for two of my closest friends that night. I was ecstatic. Their relationship is one of the best I have ever seen. They are truly an amazing couple and both have so much love to give not only to each other but to everyone involved in their life. To Josh and Sophie, I love you both so much and I cannot wait for your wedding. does conclude the speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, before we finish, can I get a big round of applause for everyone who's spoken tonight? That was <laughs> quickly in closing, I have been asked just to remind everyone that there is a puzzle over there, and they would like each of the couples to sign a piece of the puzzle. The um, there is also... You what? The, the back of the puzzle? <laughs> the back of the puzzle. Yeah, cool. And just to close it out, I don't think we've had anywhere near enough toast tonight. So I'd like to just finish with one toast, which we'll call it a family motto or something like that. It's definitely not something I read on the back of a beer can. So to Josh and Sophie, may you both live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. To Josh and Sophie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Drink, eat, be merry. Thank <laughs> you.